welcome to our channel today we are going to prove einstein famous equation that is we can say the heart of the backbone of physics physics is incomplete without direct equation so be with us let try to prove the equation einstein equation is e is equal to m c square this equation is called energy mass equation because in this inner in this equation mass is converted into energy whenever whenever there is explosion there is atomic bomb or hydrogen bomb that's explode so mass is converted into energy and usually this explosion is accompanied with large or huge amount large or huge amount of energy with high speed so that's why c square is here and we will also discuss that why c square in this equation so let's start as we know that work done is equal to f s work done is given is the product of force and displacement the dot product of force and displacement so according to newton second law as we know that f is equal to m a f is equal to m a so here we write f is equal to m a whenever we put this equation an equation 2 equation 2 it will take the form w is equal to m a and to s equation will become m a s this will become equation number 4 as we know that acceleration is rate of change of velocity so we will write a is equal to v divided by t now put this equation and equation 4 so it will become w is equal to m v divided by t into s here we know that this equation become m v s divided by t if we segregate these two so it will take the form w is equal to m v s divided by t this is divided by t and this equation is actually displacement divided by time and displacement divided by time is equal to velocity so here we can write v is equal to s divided by t so equation will become w is equal to mv multiplied by v so equation will become w is equal to mv square is in the beginning of the lecture i have discussed that this usually occur with the large amount of energy large amount of energy and large amount of energy that is followed with the high speed of sound so we can replace this v by c v is equal to c when the speed of light so this equation will become w is equal to mc square and according to what energy principle we say that work done is equal to energy if the energy is due to motion of the body so we will say work done is equal to kinetic energy if the energy is due to change in position so we will say that is equal to potential energy so this will replace according to the work energy principle that e is equal to mc square which is proof of the einstein equation and secondly as i told you at the beginning of the lecture that why c square is here actually every equation follow principle of homogeneity an equation is physics is valid only if if slip hand side dimension is equal to right hand side dimension if a slip side unit is equal to its right side unit so here if we Uh, inspect so energy equation energy from this equation is the unit of energy is joule and the unit of mass is kilogram and the unit of speed is meter per second so it will become meter per second square so joule is basically equal to newton meter and this will become kilogram meter square per second square so newton is actually equal to kilogram meter per second square into meter is equal to kilogram meter square 
pase gracias. Te dedico a que lo gran mito si te pase gracias. So if we put C square, then the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Our principle of homogeneity is followed. Our left hand side of the dimension is equal to right hand side of the dimension. I hope you like today's snackable. In this snackable, we discuss and we prove law. Einstein famous equation from where this equation has been derived. And secondly, we discuss why C square is taken um, uh, in this Einstein famous equation. Hope you will like our channel. Inshallah, we will upload and stuff like this. Thank you.